Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course and this lesson is called Other Drafting Tools and uh, we are going to see uh, two very important tools which are the grid and the snap. So starting to show you uh, what do those tools um, first, I want to uh, tell you that uh, you can assess these tools in this bar and as you can see you have one for the grid that if you click you, you will uh, turn it off and the same for the snap. Uh, grid, the grid is a visual tool so if you turn it on it will display it in your screen but the snap is a status so it's a functionality that allow you to do something if you turn it off you will not see any change in your screen uh, anyway these two functionalities or commands or as you want to to call them both they are linked and they Ideally, they should be used together. You will understand why after uh, you see this video lesson. So, starting with this, uh, the grid, um, it is what we see in, in our screen with this configuration I have. So, you have major lines, which are the thicker ones, and you have with the minor lines um, more uh, on a greater number and this is uh, defined to be on a certain distance so if I go to the grid and I'll do the right click with my mouse and I can do um, uh, turn it on or off also with the F7 which I did not mention but grid settings and I open this dialog box where I can define everything about the grid and the snap. So uh, you, can, you, you can turn them on or off here as I show you. You can do this, the snap and the grid with the F9 for the snap and the F7 for the grid or coming here and do this to do on and off. So basically um, we can define a grid spacing so in X and Y uh, I suppose you want to use the same value and you can do a major line every five lines okay um, we have some functionalities adaptive uh, uh, adaptive grid sorry my English adaptive grid which allow you to zoom in or zoom out and keep this configuration with the major and minor lines instead of making a very thick uh, grid so you see uh, this uh, will keep the configuration without ma making a very confused and very small uh, grid so going again to the settings um, and this is to display the grid beyond our limits so in all the visible screen and if we have dynamic UCSs which we will see later on in this course uh, we can turn them on also to follow to be follow sorry so we have the grid with uh, lines every 10 units okay in x and y so we can control exactly what is shown here and we can set the snap also with a certain distance and basically um, to double the possibilities i can use uh, or the possibilities i can control in my drawing i will put half of the distance here okay and turn this on so now do the okay what happens now 
it is I will make a line you see that my mouse is no longer moving with a continuous motion but it's jumping in in both the axes and if you see below here the coordinates you see that is jumping every five millimeters okay so the snap functionality it is this jump status that you can turn on um, what is the purpose of this for example let us make a very quick drawing with the grid i know that this is 50 okay so i can easily and for sure this is not good for 100 percent of the drawings but in very simple drawings we can use and easily in a couple of uh, minutes to make um, a drawing which you control the measurements okay and a very easy drawing is done okay these are the functionalities and the purpose where you can use both the grid and the snap okay to control distances and very easily to make kind of sketch or easy drawing and i think it's a, a very nice functionality and together with this i want to show you also a, a special functionality which you have in this i will delete this and now i want to show you what we call as isometric snap and grid okay this allow us to make a perspective drawing it's a kind of a, a 3d drawing uh, or better saying a 3d perspective in 2d environment and for that purpose i need to come and call this dialog box again uh, and instead of having this grid snap status with a rectangular snap i need to activate isometric snap and now if you look in on the grid and on this axis you'll see that they will change okay so now you can draw okay let's make a line you can draw for example let us say a cube and i will use the 50 measure we will draw a cube but doing to the isometric perspective which my screen um, assume then i can draw like if i was in 3d mode but again i'm working on a 2d environment this is fun for um, uh, lines but for sure all of you are uh, asking oh, okay <laughs> but if i want to to draw round things how can i do it okay there is a way and only um, in this mode i can activate a special uh, entity called uh, iso circle and to call this iso circle i go to the ellipse the iso circle is a, a special ellipse so i'll go to the axis end and then on the axis end i must choose this iso circle so iso circle and now he's asking uh, what is the center of the iso circle i have the snap on so the center it is here because i'm drawing a cube this is the center at the same distance for all all the the, the faces so here and if i open okay i draw this now i'll try to do it on on the one of the other faces where is my center here but no 
it is not that it's this is a top face and not a left one okay another trick and a, a, the other trick is this iso circle has different modes uh, which in, in on a certain way um, will allow us to draw if you think in this cube in three different faces so uh, the first I did it was a, a top view now I can change this view for a left view if I go to the F4 key in your keyboard not the F4 sorry uh, the F, F5 sorry the F5 and you see that my ISO circle changed and I will click again F5 now it seems that it is what I need okay click the point and I will do the exact same procedure to draw the ISO circle in this face here so again I'll do the enter to call the last command go to the ISO circle look for the center which is around here and again this is not my correct face so f5 not this one also and it is this perfect so now i will go to my grid settings rectangular snap okay and you see that i could draw a cube for sure if in I will not show it because it takes a little longer we can do a lot of things with these uh, round things and if the entities uh, intersect each, uh, each other or depending on the view you need to cut a few lines but th this is to show you that you can draw everything in this mode also okay one last thing regarding this functionality uh, which is if I go again instead of the isometric snap I have a polar snap okay and the polar snap it is the same but uh, activating the polar mode you see I'm in polar mode and uh, you have the definition of the angles and uh, the relative uh, polar entities whatever you have okay and basically the polar uh, mode is to recognize this uh, snap distance uh, under the uh, angles you have defined in your polar mode so it is an, an added value to the functionality we've seen already regarding the polar modes so um still it is a uh, um, just uh, uh, quick settings uh, we can have um, another definition if you like to see this grid a little better uh, under the options if you go also to the um, to the colors under the D display tab you go to the 2d model space and we can define colors if you like better for example for the grid major lines uh, you see uh, I can I can take these colors out or make definition of new colors for example whatever you want in these major and minor lines or the axis whatever you want okay i will leave them um i will leave them as they were and in fact they they are not uh on the start uh, on the status as they came from default so i will do the apply on the default which is no color just a little thicker for the major lines but basically is something that if you feel comfortable using another color to make um, a better look on this you can use it also so i hope this was clear these are two very nice functionalities which uh, many of the users of of this program uh, do not know and do not new do not use so i hope that this come and bring you some ideas to use in your work